The town of Costa del Porto. Burn it! And when he comes to protect the insignificant, kill his friend. A new massive Just Cause world is upon us. Just Cause 3. This thing looks friggin' huge. So, Adam, can you break it down for me? Who are we and where are we in Just Cause 3? So, uh, we are Rico Rodriguez. Uh, he's kind of the seminal figure of all of the Just Cause games. In this edition, uh, Rico is returning to his homeland of Medici, which uh, is kind of a Mediterranean location filled with islands. And what he has discovered is that a despotic leader, General Di Ravello, has taken over the land, and Rico kind of sets about to unseat him in the only way he knows how, which is taking apart his empire piece by piece. That's liberating settlements, uh, or that's towns, and uh, bases, and general combat. So how does Rico do that, per se? What kind of weaponry does he have? How does he take these guys out? We've given Rico a very large uh, arsenal of weapons uh, from rocket launchers, rifles, pistols, submachine guns, grenades, planted explosives, uh, down to the vehicles themselves. There's tanks, there's helicopters, jet fighters, cargo planes, transport boats, uh, just about any, you know, heavy assault boats, about anything you could think of in terms of a military approach. Uh, we wanted to put these tools in both for Rico but also for the forces that are trying to stop him so that you have a compelling and dangerous opponent to fight with. Right. In a lot of these demos, I'm seeing Rico flying through the air. Yes. So <laughs> how often do we get to bust that move out? You can bust that move out about whenever you want. Um, one of the core tenets of what we're trying to do with uh, Just Cause is allow the player the motion that they want at the moment that they want it. So you have kind of the three core modes of transportation for him that are not vehicle related, which is his grapple hook, his parachute and now the new wingsuit. And the wingsuit has kind of rounded out the arsenal, uh, so to speak, by giving him a way to quickly move from area to area while the uh, parachute becomes more of kind of a stable combat platform. And then of course he can grapple and tether around at will. You can transition from all of these states freely and kind of do whatever you want whenever you want to do it.